Hey guys, it's Faye, and I'm here with a guide to make your travels on Planet Mira just a little bit easier. Although Nintendo's Twitter recently posted the scale theme for your enjoyment, you probably still want to scale of your own. Don't... worry. Okay, okay, it's a bad pun, I know, but I'm here to help! And Don't Worry is a great song, you should check that song out. After Chapter 6, the optional scale mission opens up. The game tells you this after completing the chapter as well, just in case you forget. Vandom, aka Squaretash 2.0, will offer this mission to you. It will require completing tasks across Blade Divisions. I'm going to break this down into each of the 8 exams, aka tasks, and how to do them, and we can get our very own scale. You can find Vandom at the Blade Barracks to start this optional mission. Proficiency Exam Number 1 Proficiency Exam Number 1 involves installing a data probe at FN Site 117 in Primordia. You've probably already done this, but just in case here's the quick rundown. The site is located directly northeast of New LA. Here, I traveled from FN Site 114, which is directly connected to NLA to the northeast, to 117. It only requires a level 1 mechanical skill to place this probe, and this is probably the easiest out of everything to do. Once you place the probe, the task is done! Proficiency Exam Number 2 So, it's Interceptor's task time. We need to defeat 12 Blitz Blottas in Noctilum. Luckily, the minimap will track this for you across several areas in Noctilum. All of the mission points are located around the fast travel point Potter's Rock and FN Site 222. Defeat them, and this task is done! Proficiency Exam Number 3 Harrier's Time We need to defeat the level 25 tyrant Shotskeek. I hope I'm saying that right. It is located in North Point Cove in Primordia. It's also a rare tyrant spawn, so fast travel to North Point Cove and repeat until he appears. If you don't know where the cove is, fast travel to FN Site 112 located north of NLA and head northeast. Defeat the tyrant and this task is complete. Proficiency exam number 4. Reclaimer's time! We need to recover the solar starship map in Noctilum's Humdrum Peaks. Fast travel to FN Site 221 if you have it, or use the mission map and fast travel as close as you can to the mission objective. Use the follow ball here. Most people forget about this very useful feature that's technically a treasure Tatsu gave to you. You can use the follow ball by holding R and then pressing X. Reclaimers represent! After you recover the map, this task is done! Proficiency Exam Number 5 It's time to aid the curators. We need to acquire three different types of collectibles in varying numbers across several areas on Mira. First off, we need eight rock armadillos from Noctilum. These are located in the caves of Noctilum as well as the entire area of Noctilum and can be collected at any time of day. The easiest cave to access is north of FN Site 222, in the cave where Tatsu's mother is. Next up, three big flea squashes from Oblivia. These are located in northeast Oblivia, and can be collected most easily by fast traveling to FN Site 321, avoiding the mobs, and traveling to the lake. They can be found during the early morning and morning times. I found that using the Blade Barracks to adjust time located in your digital display room and then fast traveling to FN Site 321 was the easiest way to go about it. Lastly, we need six multi-speckled ladybugs from Primordia. They are located in the central part of Primordia directly north of NLA. They are pretty common and can be found at any time of day. Once you've found all of these collectibles, and be sure not to lose them in the meantime since the quest info tracker does not refresh if you lose them. We're done with this task. Proficiency Exam Number 6 This time, we need to pass an exam by the Prospectors. 
A lot of people ask about this one, as it requires use of the Frontier Nav probe system. We need to get at least 15,000 credits in a single return from Frontier Nav. It should be easy at this point in the game, but the general idea is to place research probes in areas with good revenue and sightseeing spots, and then chain them and use booster probes if you have them in the less favorable revenue spots. I also have a general probe guide that can help you with this. A lot of people recommend Oblivia for doing this, but I've gotten my revenue to 40k using only Noclum and Primordia, so it's very flexible. Get that nice return and it's on to the next task. Proficiency exam number 7. This time we're being tested by the Outfitters Division. Taller in the Administrative District will give you several trial weapons. It's your choice of which of the three to use in order to defeat three giant Grexes in Primordia with. Seeing as among the items you get are a knife and a assault rifle, it's probably easiest to switch back to the Drifter class and use the rifle to complete this exam. It's really up to you. You can use the mission tracker to find the giant Grexes. They are located in Northwest Primordia. I traveled to FN Site 108 and traveled west. You should discover the Plundered Ruin fast travel point on the way there. Use that to respawn the Grexes below. After you kill three Grexes with the trial weapon, this part of the exam is complete. Proficiency exam number 8. If you made it this far, congrats, you're on the last trial for your very own skill. This time, we need to pass a test by the Mediators Division. There's a choice here of completing any of the three following missions. The Handy Manon, the Pipsqueak, and that's incredible, located on the Manon ship. The Handy Manon is an enemy drop quest, which if you've already collected the energy tubes for Lin's first affinity mission, this probably isn't appealing at all. If you already have the items required, this is the easiest one to do. The Pipsqueak involves collectibles. If you have the collectible for the quest, that's going to be easiest for you, of course. That's incredible is probably the easiest quest all around, assuming you don't have any of the items for the other quests. You can find this quest in the Monon ship, which you can get into by traveling to the Blade Tower in the administrative district and taking the portal. The mission giver is located with the Monons at a table and is named Tutura. I already had accepted this quest, so that's why he doesn't have his little quest thing going on over his head. This is a weapons outfitter quest, so you're going to be killing mobs with a trial weapon from Candid Incredible. Head to FN Site 114, located directly northeast of NLA, and head southeast from there to kill the Avellos. If you don't have any other class that can use dual blades, Go commando and kill the birds with the specified weapon. Next, Tutuna will tell you to test a pair of dual guns. Keep commando and pick the big enemies to defeat. Time to down two Welkin or Vises. It can be tricky getting to where they are, so head to FN Site 112 located north of NLA to start. Watch the video to see how to climb up to the very north point of Primordia. If you have Castaway Cove's fast travel point, just take that and travel south to the Orabeses. Slay two, and you're done. Afterwards, return to Tutuda by the AM terminal in NLA. It's time! Talk to Walter in the hangar of the administrative district and claim your very own skill and license. I hope this helps you out in your adventures on the planet Mira. This has been your fellow Blade member Faye, and thanks for watching.